The building has tradition. The building's seen a lot of success. It's seen a lot of really good teams come through here. It was kind of a little bit of a throwback arena. It was not just your high, you know, high-end fancy arena or whatever. It was more just kind of a college arena. And I think obviously the additions to the building and um, you know the remodel a few years ago has really upgraded the facility. But it still retained that still retains that flavor of being a great college arena. It's been 30 years since the first game was played at the Brooks Center, and the pride of all the work and dedication is felt by more than just the players. To feel that sense of accomplishment when the boys or the ladies do something successful on the ice, that translates to us as a staff. We get to celebrate their celebrations. Some of the accolades include an NCHA championship, 2013 WCHA regular season champions, and three Penrose Cup titles. But along with the wins have come lifelong friendships. I've built some of my best friendships in my life in this building, and some of them have lasted a lifetime. I've been in people's weddings that met here as student staff. I think that's pretty neat that they not only met in the place where I work, I got to watch their relationship grow, and now they're married couples on their uh, walk of life together as St. Cloud State alumni. Getting a chance to work with the student athletes to see them grow from the time they're here as freshmen until the time they graduate, you know, kind of nice to catch off catch up with them at alumni events and golf outings and that sort of thing and find out what they're doing and you know you kind of take a little bit of pride in this think that maybe I had a little bit of something to do to help these guys move along. Relationships aside, some of the greatest moments in these players lives have happened within these walls. I just love playing every game there. If I could pick one thing that sticks out to me every game getting around the net there you know like our pregame we get around the net Captain gives a little speech. I, I love that. I get chills. When we won the Penrose at home against Denver, uh, that was, I remember just sitting there and I'm getting kind of chills right now just thinking about it. Saturday night, if uh, with a North Dakota win, they would have they clinched the, uh, the Penrose Cup the first year in the NCHC. The um, place was packed. It was loud. Uh, we played a really good game. Ended up winning that game and then going out to CC the next weekend and, and sweeping out there to to uh, win, the, win the league title outright. There's been 30 years of memories in the history of the Brooks Center, and there's no telling what the next 30 years have to write. Just another chapter in the legacy of the building, I think it's, you know, it's really what makes the place special of all the great memories in the building too. As I've watched it grow, and I'm even more excited to see how we'll grow moving forward.